What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from AGS. I know it's been a while since the last one. Obviously we died for everything to a double claw so it's kind of demotivated but obviously we have to get back on that grind and try to start making some money again. We did have about like, I don't know, 8, 9 mil cash left over plus our AGS from our death. So we weren't in that bad of a spot but obviously we just lost like 50 mil and a couple max set. So we have to get on the rebuild with some welfare PKing, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. So to make a lot of money back quickly, I was actually trying to find some AGS wrist fights, which means if I lost it, then my series is over. But if I won, I would have made 20 mil back. So I was just waiting in the edge PvP world, trying to find some fights, and then this happened. I just got this guy's Hasta and Berserker ring. What the hell? What the fuck? I swear, dude, I swear, that looks so fake. I swear, that's not even fake. He just came, he just tallied in from like Corp or something. I don't know what he was doing. I just got his Hasta and his B ring. Wrong world, he says. Oh my god. GG. I actually just got this guy's Hasta and a B ring. I was just sitting in the bank trying to find any. Oh, 12 mil. I've just made 13 mil. Holy fuck. Oh, that's so funny. This, what did they even lose? Pasta B rig. I, he was just sitting there and I saw him telly in, so I just went and claw. I just went and barrage AGS him. And I just got his Hasta B ring. Fuck it hell. 13 mil rebuilt out of uh, what, 50, 60 mil we lost? We can do this. So it's probably a good thing I got that Hasta PK, because right after that, like maybe an hour later, I did find an AGS wrist fight against this guy in Z-Day. He had a little bit uh, better gear than me, but it doesn't really matter. You're just going for AGS GMOs trying to get that uh, kill. And yeah, if I did lose it, I would, I wouldn't, uh, the series wouldn't be over because I could afford another AGS thanks to that Hasta kill. So that we started the fight. There you see, I go in for my specs, hit double zeros. He goes in for his AGS, hits a 72. And then instead of clicking my anglerfish and my brew, I mistakenly misclick on the restore, pop blocking myself. And we have now just lost 20 mil, which means we're still like seven mil down, even though we peek at the hosta in the beer ring. Right, so a little bit of a setback losing the AGS, you know, considering the whole premise of um, the series is to start with an AGS. And if we don't do that, if we don't even have one, that's a little bit difficult. So if we didn't PK the Zami Spear and B-Ring, we would probably have honestly had to end of this series, but thankfully we did. I don't want to sell them for too little because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to afford the AGS. Kind of going out on a limb here and saying I might be able to if I get good money out of these. Uh, yikes. How much, how much is that cash deck right now? Okay, maybe it'll work if I sell it for like two... I don't know what AGS is right now. So thankfully we did just about have enough to buy the AGS and uh, we also had loads of supplies and a PK set that we already had. We just had to buy like runes and barrows gloves and we still have more stuff to sell so we could PK and welfare gear just fine but you know we can't we can't be doing any more AGS wrist fights we actually have to make our money back. Good luck to this guy Rare, Rare Jungin? I think that's like a Dutch name or something. I don't know. Good luck to you, dude. You're a 117 combat, so you're not exactly max, but he's definitely got high stats. He's sitting pretty low. I'm just going to go... I hate my specs. I hate them with a passion. The spec in 30 seconds. If he doesn't run by then and it actually hits, he'll probably die. Because I think I'm quite better than this guy. Let's whack him there on the robes, dead. 19. He's running more south. This could be some 200 IQ bait. Let's not die to an AGS there. Walk away, bulk KO. Could be. 41 for the KO. Good fight. 
Decent loot as well. Got that rev released. I don't know what he was up to. I think he was peeking revs. He got bored or something. I don't know. Let's get that all in the looting bag. Good fight, man. 500k in the looting bag plus some runes and shit. Six hundred and fifty nine ruby alt two hundred K. Don't mind if I do. Did he have other bolts? Maybe he had some diamonds as well. I don't really know. So I think that guy I just killed was part of a team called Vandals, and there's like there's like four or five of them all with the same name. And all they do is flame me, they call me shitter bitter all the time, so I just find it funny because I get to kill them quite a bit. And obviously, you know, gotta hit them with the buy when you do kill one of them. And uh, yeah, it's a free looty, mystic set, spirit shield, stuff like that. Right, well a full invent of bruise and an 800k in the looting bag, not bad. Alright, I think I killed this guy in another video, I'm pretty sure. He's the guy with the dragon gloves who I, like, killed pretty quickly. So, I should be able to get him again, hopefully. Pray mage there, I don't want to get frozen. He's mage He's maging me in his, uh, full mystics. Oh, that would have been perfect. He did get the freeze on me, so it's fair enough. But that would have been perfect. He has full robes. But he did get that freeze. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the like, the person who I just killed just now with that 70 AGS, they're all in, like, a team together. So, I probably will get PJ'd or potentially TB'd. But I think I can kill this guy. Honestly, I'm just gonna go in for. I actually just spec the wrong person. I actually just spec the wrong person. I can. Uh, uh, shit or bitter. Yeah, you're not wrong, dude. I actually just spec the wrong person. I don't know what happened there. All I know is I have one more spec, and I don't know if it's gonna be enough to kill this guy because I was thinking I was gonna G maul him. Is he really gonna claw me there? No, that was a fakey. It was a fakey. He's a fakester. Double claws are my, uh. You know, they're my. They're basically just what gets me killed every time, so I'm actually a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Catch a big freeze here, especially sitting on 70 HP. You can just claw me. Oh, he's full HP there, I was gonna AGS him, that was a big XP drop. Give me another one like that. I'm gonna go in, dead. Dead, 67 with the KO. Good fight, man. Now we just need to get out of here alive, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get PJ'd. Okay, so after specking the wrong person and killing the right guy and getting PJ'd, we have successfully escaped. Some of our mystics is in there, so that's like, what, 400k in the looting bag minus my own mystic set. Then I have his dragon shoes, his helmet needs not, 80k cash, so like, I'd say like 600, 700k loot from that guy, good fight, man. This is the guy who I like one hit earlier, and now I just camped pray melee. He's going for it, dead? Oh, damn. The AGS did not pull through this time with the 70 that it did last time. Unfortunate. Is he gonna pray melee? We fought again since I've killed him and he just prayed melee the whole fight. He's like, I'm not getting AGS'd again. Seems like he's actually, you know, being a little bit more too dynamic this time. 
Changing his prayers. Changing his attack styles. I, I, I can fuck with it. I Oh, he's just gonna run. Oh, is he? He might be. I think he is. Catch a freeze. There we go. Down for the level, but now he's healed, I think. Should be. I don't really know. Pre range right there. Put a bolt in. Another zero, unfortunate. Come on, give me a big bolt. There we go. He's praying melee. Change your prayer range. Dead, dead. Dead? 60! He's still in full robes. I'm just gonna whack him, please. 29. Good fight. We've just killed him again. <laughs> He's laughing. Good fight, man. Let's pick that all up and put it in the looty bag. If I didn't kill him right there, I would have been mad, dude. So I was trying this tactic where I'd basically try and get people to fight me up at the lever, and I would actually bring a mage cape and TB runes in my inventory so that they couldn't just tell you out when they wanted to. So this guy actually said he was gonna fight me, so I was gonna have my mage cape ready for him, and I was trying to do this uh, for quite a while, and this is like one of the first person like it actually worked on, but it turns out we didn't actually need the mage cape. I was gonna mage cape this guy, but I just AGS KO'd him, and oh my god, that is bank loot, I'm pretty sure. We need to pick it all up, I have like no supplies. Because I was gonna try mage cape someone up here, and I just AGS KO'd him. He had like rune gloves are on or something, he was legit, he was like edge peaking, like he had, he only had a range and a debo, so he has to smite fight me. So I was gonna mage cape him, but I've just killed him. Let's get out of here with all that loot, we got a debo out of it. Let's price check that while we're up here, because I don't think anyone's gonna hit us right now. Vrex almost how much, 500k? That's a 2 mil PK right there. Jesus. I don't really know how I'm going to explain this, so just try your best to like understand and keep up, I guess. So that thing I just showed you in the last clip where I was uh, fighting people up to the lever and then trying to mage cape kill them, I actually got a level 99 who was risking like 70 mil to follow me up. Like he called me Ditter Shitter, I pulled the lever and he actually followed me. And then I mage caped him and I killed him for about 90 mil. I killed him for an Ancient Wyvern Shield, Amulet of Eternal Glory. Eternal Boots. You can see this is me, the guy uh, in the recording is spam clicking on. The loot actually wasn't mine, so I was waiting for it to appear, but they didn't know it wasn't mine, so they thought I'd already started looting all of it. You can see this guy spam clicking me, trying to kill me, and eventually he does get on me because the guy I'm on has very low HP and will get out eventually. So eventually he starts getting on me, and you can see the loot hasn't appeared yet. So I'm just trying to stall. I'm trying to pick up the loot. They don't know I haven't picked up any of the loot that they think I have, like, I'm risking 90 mil in my inventory right now. So this guy's getting ready to try and AGS G-Mall me. I freeze him there, and you see the loot is about to appear. I think you guys can see the whole pile because I didn't pick everything up right at the start. There's, like, a Wyvern Shield, Eternal Glory. I think you'll be able to see it in, like, what, five seconds? Now, yeah, there it is. Ancient Wyvern Shield, Torx Plate Legs, Amulet Eternal Glory, Berserker Ring, Arms Top, all of that. So about, like, 80 to 90 mil PK. And the reason I can't show you my recording of this is as soon as I looted, I think, the first three items, my computer completely crashed. You see, I'm not eating any food. I'm not changing my prayers. He AGS mauls me. I'm still not eating any food. There's, like, at least, like, three, four ticks I could have eaten in. But I just can't eat because my computer's crashed. My recording's corrupted. And you can see he kills me for my own AGS. Uh, he gets all the... He gets basically everything back. So, like... Uh, all he didn't get back was the ancient wyvern shield which spawned in my inventory. I PM the guy, this is how I got the recording, because I, I wanted to know if he'd like refund it to me, because I thought he was a good guy because we did an AGS wrist fight earlier, and he said he really wanted to uh, refund the money and that like he watched the vids or whatever, he really wanted to give it back. But the guy who I've killed has been his friend for years, and I think anyone in that position would have rather given 90 mil to their friend instead of me, you know, no matter what the circumstances of the death was. So I asked him just to send me over the recording just so I could explain to you guys what happened. So rip 90 mil. Right, so my recording just crashed and you could see in, in my inventory I have an ancient wyvern shield instead of an AGS. Basically, I tell you into edge and there's this level 99 here in like ancient wyvern shield, full arms, he had an eternal glory. So I got my mage cape out and I actually went south to the lever. And he pulled the lever and he came up, so I mage cape TB'd him and I killed him for about 90 mil. And then as soon as I started looting, I DC'd, my computer crashed, I don't know exactly what happened. Logged back in, no longer have my AGS, but I have this shield. I tried getting the guy to refund, but my recording corrupted, so I really have no proof. So, I could have just made 90 mil, but instead I've only made about 14. So I'm gonna have to go sell this and buy my AGS back. That's honestly kind of depressing, as I would have made every single bit back that I lost earlier but it's whatever, uh, it kind of sucks. Hopefully I'll be able to recover the recording in a little bit, but uh, my computer just crashed, so it's like it's whatever. All right, so on the shield, got 35 mil for it, so, you know, we still profited, but, you know, could have had a lot more profit. <laughs> I'm actually super depressed about that. But uh, 50 mil cash, you know, I made some money, but that could be that could be a 90 mil cash deck right now if my, I didn't DC or my computer crashed. I don't think it was a DDoS, but it's whatever.
Okay, well, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't want you guys getting mad at the person who killed me. Anyone would have refunded their friend who they've known for years if they had the opportunity. It would, I think it would have been a different story if like he just killed me one-on-one -on -one and I DC'd. I'm sure he would have refunded it if it was like if it was my money, not you know his friends. So he was put in a really tough spot there. Anyway, the future of the series is in your hands. As it stands, I have an AGS, 17 mil cash, and a bunch of stuff in my bank. It's probably like a 20 mil cash deck if I sold everything. I am still a little bit in profit after that kill. Now, here's what we could do. Either I just go on as normal, I rebuild the money, and I still try and get up to my max set. Or what some people in my Discord suggested to me today was, pretend that I never died from the money. So I could get 80 mil from a friend or from like a donation. I could just start with like the 80 mil cash deck on top of this, so I'd have like a 97 mil cash stack or whatever, plus the AGS, and pretend I never died because, you know, I wouldn't have died. The guy didn't have TBs. All I had to do was pray melee and eat my food, but I, obviously I DC'd, so I lost it all. So it's up to you guys. Do you think I should carry on as it stands with a 17 mil cash stack on my AGS, or pretend that I never died, get 80 mil off another account, and just carry on from there and try and finish the series like that? Honestly, it's up to you guys. I'm down to do whichever one. So definitely a very weird type of video. Like I said, it's up to you guys. I think I'll link a straw poll in the comments section and you guys can just vote on it or just comment down below what you guys think I should do. Cause I'm down to do either one. It's honestly up to what you guys want to see.